You know what I realized? I've been at this for 20 years. And when I say at this, I mean building my career, building my brand, building my presence. I've been at it for 20 years. I started when I was 19 years old. I'll be 39 in September. That's 20 years. I literally have 20 years of experience building a global brand, a brand period, because every brand doesn't go global. It just so happens that my work is on the internet, which allows the world to see it quickly and from all the corners of the earth. So my brand is global. 20 years ago, 10 years ago, it might not have been that type of brand because people didn't really see the beauty and the benefit of the internet. But I've been telling my friends since 2004 that I would have a brand and build an empire and in accrue millions of dollars from sitting in front of my computer. I've been saying that. Sitting in front of my computer in 2004 led me to send out photos and stats to agencies around the world and get a lot of yeses. There were a lot of noes, but there were also some yeses. And they said, well, hey, if you're ever in our area, if you're ever here, we'd love for you to stop by the agency. We'd love to take a look at you. I've been doing that with my career for 20 years. 20 years. 20 years I've been building who you now love and adore. And it hasn't been easy. Living with mental illness, bipolar 1, post-traumatic stress disorder, and acute anxiety disorder has not made it an easy feat or undertaking but even though some people would call me mentally ill I've done it 20 years now later I uh, everything that I have is now a superpower to me (laughs) it's a superpower everything that I have yes I'm still mentally ill, or should we say, not even really mentally ill. I just think differently than most people and I have to take better care of my mental. That's all. It's a chemical imbalance. Chemical imbalance doesn't mean I'm stupid. Not at all. Chemical imbalance means I have to take a chemical. That's what medication is for. I take a chemical to balance a chemical. That's what I do. But 20 years, even with mental illness, I've spent building this brand. And I must say that I am so proud of the work that I've done. You see, you've got to kind of be obsessed with what you do. I love what I do so much that there was nothing and no one that I would allow to tear me away from it. I love it that much. You may say, well, is it modeling that you love? Is it music that you love? Is it film work? Is that what you love? I love it all. I love it all. All of it. I've done so much. And I've had the opportunity to do so much. And you know what's so crazy about that? (laughs) One of my friends, he's a celebrity psychic. He um, did a reading for me back in 2019 before the pandemic hit. And he talked about it. You know, you've done so much. And he talked about the true essence and the succulent nature of who I am as a person. But even with all that I've done, he let me know. He said, listen, your arrival, hmm, that's not going to happen till October of 2020. You know? And then the pandemic hit. So that kind of put a damper on things. 
So I know spirit as a spirit worker myself. If, if the arrival date gets pushed, give yourself a year. So I'm saying my arrival is October of 2021. It got pushed. But he was right. My arrival to fame and notoriety and money and all of these things is still yet to come, even though I'm pretty damn prominent right now, the world over. I've been in English newspapers. I've been profiled in France, Germany. Come on now. Other parts of the world know exactly who I am. My music streams in 56 countries. To date, one of my most famous songs is not Black Stilettos. It's one that I did recently in 2018 by the name of Stoic. I'm known the world over for Stoic. And that just proved to me that you never know what it's going to take for you to come to public light or, or what thing you will do will bring you to pro public notoriety and honorable mention. But I've continued to work. That's the key. It's been a long 20 years. In that time, I had to learn to balance my mental illness. I had to learn to balance myself. I had to learn how to be fully self-expressed. I had to achieve self-actualization, and I did. I did. And you know, I sit here now with 20 years of experience. I never thought that I would be a mentor. I thought at best that I would, you know, model abroad, do a few songs, but I knew that it would mean that if I came to notoriety as a model, then a model I would stay. The industry doesn't really let you bounce around. How you come in is usually how you stay. Yeah, you'll do projects every now and then that kind of broaden your fan base. But um, how you come in is how you stay in. So if you came in as a singer, you're going to be a singer. We've had some great um, crossovers. One person that comes to my mind is Tyrese. Tyrese is a beautiful black man. He's always been a beautiful black man. And he was an amazing, is still an amazing singer. And I'll never forget how he came to us. And what was that, a Coca-Cola or was it Pepsi? I think it might have been a Coca-Cola. I'm sorry, Tyrese. It's been so long ago. <laughs> You've had so much success since then. I think it might have been Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. But um, he went on to become a full-fledged actor. He's done it. And I'm using him because he comes to mind. He comes to mind. We don't have many that actually start off in one thing and transition successfully into a long-term career. LL Cool J is another one that comes to mind. Started in music and became a prolific actor. Queen Latifah started in music, became a prolific actor. You know, we don't have many. So when it happens, I take note. 